MySQL. Uh, it is uh, used PHP version 5.4. Okay, so maybe latest version it will not work. So you have to download exact version which is mentioned in the installation guide. Okay, so you get the exact version and you have to download the link. The link is provided uh, here. So you have to just go through and you have to download then install it. Once you install, you will get that uh, XM uh, control panel. You have to then configure. So I have already installed this all the things. So I will just start to configure. Okay. So before that, I have to start that XM. Okay. This is the XM. Okay. So I will start first my system. So you have to create the database and uh, all tables and everything. So I press PHP my admin. the details are available what you have to do all the steps is written here so you can just follow the steps or you can follow the installation video also okay so first we have to create one database so I'll click on database okay, so I'll give the database name so I'll give it database name comdb then create so whatever name you can provide. So once the database is created, you can just uh, open the database, just click here. There is a new database, no table is there. So I will use that our uh, database script file to create all the tables. So you have to just check that the database is selected. Now click on SQL and you go in your folder. So there will be script files. So you have to just open that file, open it in Notepad and select all the text. Copy it and you have to just paste here where that uh, SQL window. Paste. And then there is a button called Go. So it will create all the tables and sample record. So now it is created. Now I have to create the uh, user. So I will just again click on that uh, home option, which you might have Okay. Now we just go to your, you can just check the database, new database. It will show all the tables. So this is a tabular created. Okay. All tabular created. Okay. Now I will create the user. So again I go to home option. Then I'll click on users. Then click on add user. Then I give the username. So I give the username the same one. Then the local host and password. I give the same password. From the username password. Now you have to. You can do here also like check all option, privilege option. Okay, or uh, otherwise you can edit privilege later also. So I'll create everything in one book. So first I give the username, password, and then select all the privilege and add user. Okay, now this part is over. So now I have to do what I have to just go again. Now I will copy all the content. Copy it. Now that XML, sorry, XM installation folder is C drive. Then there is a called HT Docs. So you have to just create one folder here. So I will give the folder name is com project, com project. Now I will just open it and I will paste all the content. 
So here you have to just change one file, include.php, where the database uh, connection is written. So you have to just select it and open, you can open Notepad also. So you have to change that username, password and dividend. I have given the same name. So if you change in your system anything different, you have to edit it, okay? And then save it. So I didn't require to any change because I'm using the same credential. So I'll close it. Now how to browse the site? So again, you have to go there, the control panel and click on Apache Admin. Okay, now your action is started. So you have to just type the folder name, this one. Copy it. And it will open the home page. Okay. Now this is the project. Okay. So here already admin added that product. Okay. So suppose I want to buy one printer. So I will type printer and go. So all print available printer will display. Like there is a category also like I want to buy scanner. So I can select scanner, I can select server accessories, and I can add to cart. Before that you have to register in the site. Okay. So you can click on my account. If you already registered then you can use email ID password or you can add the new uh, details also like I will add one page at rmp.com password as you want to because it is not available so I have to register first rmp.com password Simple story to target again. Display name, I will give any case. An address, I will give Mumbai. Uh, state Maharashtra. Pin code, I will give this one. Then contact number. Then I, when I register, so this will be my login ID. Okay, so I will submit. Patient successful, okay. Now I can log in. So I can give that user ID, email ID, and password. New details will add in because this is the first time I have logged in, so I have not done any transaction. Okay. Now I want if I want to buy anything, so I will just go input devices. Then so I want to buy a mouse, so I'll add to cart. How many mouse I want? I want two mouse. Submit. So I want to add another product. So I can click on add product. So I want to add a memory card. to cut same here, quantity I can edit also that quantity delete the product also now click on checkout to check out this uh, details so this address will come up your profile so if you want to edit your credit in profile now card number you can type uh, your credit card number there is no payment gateway is integrated here so only your transition ID will save here. Okay, so your transition is successful and ID is generated. Okay, and these details will available in uh, my account page. Now when admin is login, admin can check the all the user who had logged in, what are the transition is going on, everything. Okay, now say I want to. But rest is that same thing like about us it will show what is the project about contact us so you can add it, some details okay now these are html so content so you can just change that like about us so you can just edit the content also here okay to admin login you have to just uh, 
this admin is inside your source code. If you go to there, you will get the admin details here. So you have to just type admin here. So it will give you admin login option. So you can ch just uh, check that user ID is the admin in user master table. Okay, so this admin and password currently is one. So you can edit in the table directly. Here you will see all the users who are allowed to log in in the system. You can add a new user also. Like whatever the vendor who is the supplier of the product. So you can see that details also. You can add a new vendor. These are the vendor available. So I want to add a vendor. So I will, what I will clear it. Then I will clear the vendor. Say IBM. At the Mumbai City Mumbai email ID search.com submit. So once the new product you will add, you can select that vendor. So there is a product also. So whatever product is listed so is from here. So if you want to add a new product, so you can add from here. Now I want to add a laptop. Okay, so if there is a laptop category is there, you can add. Otherwise, you have to category you can add from backend only. Okay, so right now this is not option available in that uh, screen only. So you can go in your table and you can add category master. You can add it. Okay, suppose I want to add a say. Uh, what I can do add I am the monitor. So this IBM also comes because I have added the vendor list. Okay. Now product name. IBM monitor. Description. Whatever you want to system LCD Price eight thousand. Tax is under submit. So it will create a new product in monitor category. So go last. This will come. Now once you so you want to report what are the sales is going on in the system. So today one registered. This only case we have registered, and how many product it sold. So this is that. Transition ID and what is the amount? Okay, this is the basic report is available. Okay, so now, if you go to the uh, project again, so whatever the latest project added, it will display first. Now, image is not coming because image you have to create one folder. There is a folder called image folder. So, you have to just go there. Okay, sorry, not this one. Image is product image. Okay, so whatever the ID, the product ID, so that you have to use like this one this product is that 49 last product we have added okay so i will what i'll do i will just copy any images like monitor image okay or this one or this one and i will give that id to 49 the latest id what is the idvm product we have added okay. so once so once you buy this project you will get this file Source code folder, project report, DB script, installation guide, and synopsis file. Okay, so then you can configure it in by using Excel and you can use this project.